Hi guys, Wet Hair Brand here today to talk to you about another commentary video with an important topic, which is why the 40 perk change is going to be vital for Dead by Daylight, why this change needs to be made, and why that's important for the landscape of Dead by Daylight, especially in terms of their design philosophy going forward. So DBD decided that they were going to roll out skill-based matchmaking. They're now going to decide that uh, by their standards, which I, I don't agree with, but by their standards, that there is a skillful way to play this game, there's a skillful way to win this game, and when you do, you will be rewarded rewarded with an uh, invisible uh, point stat that goes up and down based on your performance and rating how well you do and how skillful you played in every single match. Now, you all know this basically only comes down to kills and escapes, which is very, very rudimentary. This results in killers playing intentionally very, very, very scummy and intense just to guarantee kills, and survivors basically just plowing through gens and trying to escape and immerse as much as possible. It's not really a sign of skill, but I think the point still stands that Dead by Daily, at the very least, has moved in a direction where they're at least trying to uh, measure and understand skill, even if they're doing it incorrectly. <laughs> So that brings me to the point of why the 40 perk change is so important for the future of Dead by Daylight. Because if you look at the perks in this game that are the meta, that are the strongest on both sides, they really don't require any sort of skill to perform in, and that is why they need to be changed. Because if you're in a landscape where you're trying to measure skill and trying to reward people for playing skillfully, so many of the perks in this game that often hard carry people to victory boil down to either a single button or none at all. Let's look at the survivor ones right away. Let's look at Dead Hard. One button could buy you potentially uh, 15, 30 seconds or more of chase just because you pressed a singular button. DS, you went from being having a hook state or being dead. Now you're just alive because you pressed a button. Unbreakable, you got slugged. Now you're just no longer slugged. You're just running around the map injured because of a single button. Let's look at other perks like Borrow Time, Iron Will. Those don't even require a button to activate. They just kind of happen and give you immense, immense effects on the match. All of these perks give you immense changes on the match. They they aren't just, well, okay, well, this kind of had a, a, a semi-okay effect. No, like these, these perks can quite literally save a match by gens, by escapes, by having these perks equipped. However, despite their immense strength, they only require a single button or in some cases just just equipping the perk to get immense value immense game changing value off of something that literally in some cases doesn't even require pressing a single button or doing literally anything besides just bringing the perk into the match which is absurd and on the killer side of things we have the perks like noed ruin that do just kind of get value just by existing yes i know there are some matches where you know they spawn in and they pop your ruin immediately just in the same sense that sometimes you just dead hard in the wall and you don't get value but it still stands that that effect is incredibly strong and requires very very little input from you especially in the case of noed no it just kind of happens in the end game you just gotta like pray just prage that they didn't uh pop all five tones which they're probably not doing because they're focusing on actually playing the game uh so now there's just no edit now you just get a free kill at the end of the match because you brought a single perk into the video game a single perk into the video game you brought one perk and that was it and it just happens it doesn't require any sort of input from you whatsoever and i think that's why the 40 perk rework is so important and why i can't wait for it to take effect in the game because if you look at both sides of this game and you look at the the top five or six most used perks in the game on both sides they really have the most minimal amount of input for the biggest amount of effect compared to other perks in the game. And, there, and it's not like Behavior doesn't know how to balance these perks correctly and how to make good perks that are very, very strong. Uh, we've talked about this before. I've, Spirit Fury, uh, just annihilating a pallet out of your hand. Very, very powerful. Very, very powerful effect. But nobody cares and nobody calls Spirit Fury OP because the killer has to build up to it by kicking pallets throughout the match. Uh, I think a similar example on the survivor side is any means necessary. Uh, just reviving a pallet from being dead is really, really strong. Having a down pallet just suddenly back up is super duper strong, but you have to see it, go over to it, have the killer not kick it, and then reset it, which is a waste of time in a time-based game. There are ways to have powerful effects in this game but because they uh, have prerequisites or they are time costly to pull off, there's lots of things you can do to make a super powerful effect fair. Like the problem is not that Dead Hard exists, it's just that Dead Hard just happens for free and for a singular button with no buildup. 
it, like, Noed isn't a bad perk. Noed is a very fun perk that shakes up the end game. But the fact that it just kind of happens just because you brought it and doesn't have any way you can build up to it or any way that you earn it makes it feel like a cheap perk that sucks to face against because to bring things back to the point of this video, if you're going to have a game where you're trying to measure skill and skillful plays are rewarded over dumb brainless plays, why does the why are the strongest perks in the game mostly based around pressing a single button or just getting free value because you brought the perk in the first place? That is not these things aren't inherently skillful to press a single button or just get value just because you you equipped a perk slot before the video game even began, before the match even started. That is not skillful. And if you want to start really actually rewarding people for playing skillfully, you can't have perks that have the most minimal amount of input in the game be the most prevalent and strongest perks in the game. You can have those perks be, this is this is essentially, it boils down to this. It boils down to two things. Either the perk, it re retains its incredible strength, but you give it a prerequisite or a cooldown, or you nerf the perk's ability and keep it the way it is. That way it's happening constantly and it doesn't have to be earned, but the effect isn't that crazy. I feel like that, I feel like that's just smart. I feel like that's just like simple game design. I feel like that makes sense. And I feel like the only reason that they've kept it the way it is for so long is because, well, it's just a party game. Who cares? And I, and I see for the most part, it still is a party game. But if you're wanting to start measuring skill and start having skill be rewarded, you got to not have perks that go burr with a single button or none at all and zero input. Either lower their, their ability, make sure that their power isn't powerful, or give them a prerequisite or a, a uh, cooldown. That way you're not just spamming this ability over and over again. But yeah, a little bit of a short one today, guys. I just want to talk about why the 40 perk change is so important and why I am ultimately looking forward to that over uh, most things when it comes to the recent changes, because I feel like that is kind of like where the focal point of a lot of people's frustration in this game comes from is those second chance perks, those incredibly powerful perks that just kind of happen. And once those are, have been adjusted in the game, I feel like a lot more people will be happy. So, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate you so much for spending time with me today but i do upload daily so hopefully i will see you tomorrow but if i don't i will see you when i see you friends goodbye